to Clink. Uh, this is part two of the Martial Arts Podcast, sort of part two, it's kind of a standalone thing, but this is sort of a follow up after um, probably the biggest fight that has ever happened. The most money. The most, the most money e and the most watched event yeah, in combat probably, sports history. I don't know if over a billion people watched it. Oh, of course, talking about the uh, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather boxing match that occurred over the weekend. Um, so just reflecting basically as we, we made some predictions last podcast which was just hilariously inaccurate <laughs> was it? super inaccurate yeah 100% I haven't really listened to that so part. from what I <laughs> recall our, our, our pretty shared opinion was that we were hoping that Connor was going to knock him out in the early rounds but our shared opinion was that it was going to go the distance with a Floyd Mayweather win over decision yeah, that yeah. Was, ne- neither one of us predicted a, a Floyd Mayweather TKO. In fact, I'm fairly sure. Thinking back on it, we both just went, "There's no fucking chance that Floyd's going to TKO Connor." Yeah, and uh, some humble pie was chowed down upon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, now that I've watched it, I can see why. I mean, I didn't. We didn't really think about him getting gassed. I mean, we did touch on it. I think we touched we on it, that- um, and I, I, I think I didn't realize the difference between. The way boxing rounds versus MMA rounds were gonna were gonna affect him. I think the um, well, we said if he trained for it, he should be ready for it. Well, yeah, you can say that about a lot of things. <clears throat> I mean, people train for marathons, but they still get fucking knackered. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's, there's only there's there's only so much amount of work you can do in the X amount of time, and you're, you're talking about someone who's training to do, because it's. But, but I think I was mistaken before. I used to, I thought boxing rounds were three minutes with a minute rest, but I think they're three minutes with thirty seconds rest. Are they? I thought that was that was a super fucking quick. I thought it was three minutes and a minute. Yeah, I <clears> might <throat> be wrong. Again, it's probably something we should have I've watched, watched it before. Yeah, <laughs> we still don't know. I had some time in the rest. I was waiting for the next round. Yeah, me too. Um, the round. The, you're right though. They did go quick. I mean, we were, we were about we were about four or five rounds in, and I was I was like, wow, this. Oh. It's really going somewhere. The pace is uh, it's fast. I think when you have investment in it as well, it feels like it's going quicker. Mm. Sometimes when you watch a fight just for the sake of it, it was like, oh, okay, round fucking three. How many more of these shit is there left? <laughs> but when you're sort of when you're really into it and you're proper sort of watching what's happening and you've got a personal investment in it, it feels like it goes sort of it goes quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better it didn't feel fucking quick for Connor. <laughs> better for long. How many how many minutes did he fight for? Do you know? Uh, so it was the tenth round, wasn't it? That he got TKO'd in around about a minute left of it. So you're looking at nine times three, um, which would be twenty-seven plus like two minutes. So roughly half an hour. So just over what he usually fights, then. Yeah, but again, I think it was the, the difference in intervals, which again. Was no, of course, like, it's, yeah. it's a completely different game, but yeah. still, it is still the longest fight he's ever had. Yeah, the only professional fight he's ever had. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. Well, I mean, if you have a fight in the street over the last 27 minutes... You might have gym fights. So, last something's time. happening wrong. People have, like, shark tanks and stuff like that, especially yeah, training yeah. stuff like jiu-jitsu Maybe and when, Probably they, not so much MMA, but... When they just keep putting new fresh people opponent, on. Yeah, fresh opponent in every round or every yeah. couple of minutes or whatever, however you want to do it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and obviously... I want to explain that. Um, <laughs> what, shark, oh, yeah, so, yeah, shark tank um, is usually how most fighters will train for a fight. Um, rather than having, if, if for instance you have, we'll say for MMA, championship fights, five five minute rounds, um, usually when you're training for it, you won't, your sparring partner you're up against won't also go five rounds because they're not expected to be in the same condition as you are. So usually what you would do in order to get the most out of your conditioning uh, and also have a realistic idea of the opponent and sort of stretch yourself that bit further, you'd have a fresh opponent each round. So if you're fighting five five minute rounds, you would fight five separate opponents, obviously providing that you get all five rounds. Um, obviously far more challenging to yourself, because if you've ever been in a <coughs> sort of physical contest, any stand up boxing, kickboxing or grappling or anything like that, you'll realise that fatigue sets in really quite quickly. Five minutes doesn't sound like a lot of time, but when another guy is trying to fuck you up, it's a really, really, really long fucking time. Yeah, um, I mean... Yeah. I've I've done three jujitsu's now. Three jujitsu's, yeah. And uh, and it's not getting easier yet. No, <laughs> it won't do yet. No, it, it takes time. But and but but no, you know that's the. I've never had an opponent that's actually been trying to hurt me. Everyone's yeah. so friendly and lovely and yeah. nice. And uh, and I'm still really really getting 
beaten up by my by myself. Yeah, it's utterly exhausting. Yeah, the most uh, exhausting thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it really is because it's you're not trying to hurt each other. You're not trying to fuck each other up. But you are, you have that. It's that little bit sort of like I need to survive. Like that little bit of, in your your lizard brain comes <laughs> out. It's sort of like this is bad. Why are you doing? Why is the thing happening? <laughs> Stop doing the thing. Heart oh, panicking. You're fucking. It's I, I'm, getting out. I've of not control. been panicking. I've been really calm. Um, but I have been. Yeah, bet that was the first three lessons. Well, I, well, I, I went. I went into it knowing that that was like um, that was my main thing. Mm. Try because you've told me that that's what you're trying to do. Improve your game. Improve yourself in a situation where you feel most uncomfortable. Yeah. And because I because like I know so many of, so many of my friends do jujitsu. Yeah. I was like, right, this is what I'm gonna go into it doing. Yeah. Just not panicking. Just trying to survive, not yeah. trying to get anything necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so I don't know anything yet. I know. I mean, I've learned like one thing each time. So I think I know three things. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is an escape. Two yeah. of them are escapes. So that's good. Admittedly, the escapes are the good things. <laughs> like, well, but that, but that's you know. So, so like, say ro- rolling with Max or something. Um, I'll know what he's going for, and I'll be like, right, I got to stop that. Yeah. So the, just even just stopping that is constant back and forth, and then he'll try something else. Obviously, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't just do that until until the other guy can't move anymore. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so so it's a constant back and forth, and you know, trying one thing, trying another thing, and just defending against those things. It's yeah. just so, it just wears me out so much. Not yeah. even trying to get anything on someone else, just trying to defend against two things. Yeah. Just two things will do me. Is that survival? And I mean, I think that is sort of bringing it back to the fight. I think that is what Sorry. we saw from <laughs> round five onwards. It's all right, we can segue this shit. It's right. Yeah, We're fucking professionals. So um, from like round five onwards, that was pretty much that seemed to be. Connor had um, he picked his shots, uh, which were shots, which we'll explain in a moment, sort of how. They were some of these shots that were being picked. He got to be a pillow handy, didn't he? There were some boops. Oh yeah, just yeah. There were. Little, little did you boops. see? Did you see that replay of the one that yeah, just the touched boop. his nose? But it didn't even blink. No, he just went <laughs> boop. It was, like, it was a good one. His hands are here. Just knew exactly <laughs> where his nose was. You saw his nose. His nose didn't move more than that. Boop. Like. Yeah. I it like was, that. But he didn't. Oh. Well, I thought he punched him and then threw that. No, he threw. He threw one jab, which hit him on the forehead. And then it was all a double jab, duh, duh. But the second one was just so overextended, and it just went right there. And <laughs> yeah, from, like, doesn't matter. Do you just touch? So, um, what should we talk about about this fight? I mean, let's let's say how we feel about the outcome. I mean, I guess we both think that it was pretty much inevitable. We said that last time. Um, Not yeah, the way um, it ended, but that it ended in a Floyd win. I was very very invested. I feel like I bought into the Connor hype. Me too. A lot. <laughs> so I, was very, I was very. I'm looking at it sort of retrospectively and thinking, you stupid shit. <laughs> like, so obviously, he wasn't going to win. I mean, I, I still feel like there were there were points where I, where I got really excited. The first, the very first, like two seconds of the opening round, where he Straight came out all karate, yeah. starts with his hands like that. I was like, fucking yes, 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 Connor. I was in a cheer. He hadn't even done anything. He'd taken four steps towards Floyd. And with a hand in the air, and I was like, "Yes, this is exactly what I want to see." So I think my lack of boxing knowledge really shone through at that moment in my life. <laughs> well, also once it got to about six rounds, I mean, Connor won like the first six rounds, no, and I was, he didn't. Do you not think? I mean, well, as far as scorecards, I didn't go, see the scorecard actually. I mean, there there were very, the whole event was very, very, very Floyd bias. Yeah, well, it, it was always going to be, and that's yeah. fine. But, but the um, so the judges talk scorecard. I think the, I feel like the most you can probably give Connor is four rounds, and that's being generous. In the first, the, the first four, I feel like just from volume of punches, because I don't feel like the thing the thing that I was seeing a lot of people were sort of saying, oh, yeah, but Connor's Connor's punches weren't really landing. They weren't doing. They weren't significant punches, yeah. which is a fair enough sort of criticism. A lot of the like sort of rabbit little rabbit punches and hammer fists and. Other than the, the big uppercut in the first round was probably the biggest, most significant punch he landed. Yeah, it was. But Floyd he did land a couple of good any punches. No, no. For the early rounds. No. So I feel like in a boxing match, if you're going to throw punches and they land somewhat, like even if it's a, ta- a hit on the abdomen. It's just, your round. 
Yeah, I feel I feel like that should be the case. defending for an entire round and not throwing anything. I don't understand That's not how, you can, how you can be given the round that, no. that way. Um, Are you saying that he was given some of those early rounds? Who Floyd? Yeah, on the yes. scorecards. Really? Yeah, that's a joke. Scorecards. Yeah. Because, but, but okay, so I even think it was Carl Froch or Carl Frock, whatever the fuck you say his name, who was just riding Floyd's nuts the entire way through. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I think he sort of said like he's, he's, his scorecard at the end of it, it was like it's like one round to Connor, just I think. Uh, and I was like, well, all right. I mean, you, you're more educated about it than I am, fair enough. But yeah, uh, to be fair, we don't actually know yeah. that much. But then, even, what I was trying to say is just, even just from watching it, but I, d- I don't care about the scorecard. It doesn't matter at the end of the day because Floyd still won. There, yeah, and he won decisively. It was, he was, won. Yeah, I'm I, glad it was a decisive win, at least, and there was no bullshit controversy. Could you fucking imagine that? If it came out and like Floyd TKO'd him in the 10th, but there was a low blow just before it, and the referee didn't see, and he hit him over the back. Could you imagine the fucking shitstorm? And I'd be like, let's do it again. It's like, oh, please, let's fucking not. Please. Oh, if, if they did it again, I think... Well, then I'd, I'd say Connor has a chance again. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I thought he had a chance before. Yeah. I just, you know... I mean, it's the same... There's a lot of people in the world that want Connor to win. I, I just struggle betting against him. I'm such a hugger. He's, also, he's also he's a good fucking fighter. Yeah, man. yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is. I'm I'm really glad it's done. So I'm really looking forward to his return to MMA. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad this whole sort of spectacle is is finished. This this free exhibition show. fight. Free I, don't, show. I, I don't know if I've called it a freak. A freak show or a circus sounds derogatory because I don't think. Well, but we've been using the term freak show for a long time, and that's it's exactly what it is. Let's face it. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah. what you're saying. But it yeah. sounds yeah. Like, so you, you, I prefer. Sounds to, like you're taking fu- making fun of it. Yeah, usually a freak show fight. fight. I, I, it's two older steroided fuck dudes. Or or a giant guy versus a normal guy. Yeah, yeah, or like yeah, or like when Gabby Garcia, this giant six foot seven jujitsu black belt. Who's li- uh, Google Gabby Garcia if you don't know who I'm talking about? Jesus fucking Christ! And she literally fought a grandma <laughs> about six months ago, an actual <laughs> fucking tiny little Japanese woman <laughs> who's like maybe five four. Did, did she use chi though? Was she she like, used Whoa! shit. She actually ran into the fucking ropes looking like she was looking for a clothesline like on WWE. And Gabby Garcia fucked her day up, obviously. This and is, that sounds was like a, a weird show. fight. That yeah. was a stupid fight. It was a non-fight. There was no. What's the point in staging I, something like that? I don't know. Who's going to buy it? Other, I fucking watched it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to watch it yeah. now. That's what I was like, oh shit, it can't be because she's going to kill a bitch. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, that, that, that is a freak show fight. Um, I understand what you mean. These guys are more, they're, the same, they're roughly the same size. You know, it's just, I mean, it's more, what it is, is it's like 90s UFC. It's two different styles oh, against each other. But for yeah, boxing. But I don't think it's, it wasn't a matchup of styles as much. It was a matchup of experience. That was the that was the big sway one way. Or the well, other that's one. why it was Floyd's the, one experience. For sure. it? Yeah, yeah. But he's been doing this for since he was like three. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, Connor's been fighting for a long time, but there, I think there are a lot of reasons yeah. Yeah. Floyd won, and yeah, experience is definitely one of them. It's it's weird. It's like, oh, if if Connor started fighting the same time and they both took the exact same journey, would they end up being the same person? Would they be able to like, fight each other? This, it's a weird road to go down. That. Uh, we'll we'll ask we'll ask someone in the multiverse when we find out. Yeah, when we, uh, yeah. So I think that's a that's sort of a go through point. that wormhole. Like, yeah, exactly. Who who gives a shit? The fact <laughs> is, yeah, clearly. Yeah. Has people, have people been discussing that then? Exactly. Oh God! Yeah, as we oh, talk about sort of, sure of if Conor had been everything. boxing as long as him, so well, what are you talking about? What fictional shit? All right, well, tell you what, Floyd has to stop boxing. He can never pick up any fucking boxing gloves for the next twenty years, and Conor has to pick them up. And then <laughs> by, at the end of it, they both have the exact same amount of boxing experience. Connor's, except they'll both be fucking old. Conor's got <laughs> sharks for arms, but he's yeah. also got fins for legs. <laughs> <laughs> the, the entire fight takes place in Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's cold, huh? I was like, oh, that's the problem, is it? Is that the issue? The temperature? Wouldn't want them getting nippies. Is it cold nippies. or is it hot? No, it's hot. It's cold as fuck, isn't it, Jupiter? Is it gas? And it's far away from the sun. It's far away. It's cold, yeah. yeah. I know. I mean, I know Jupiter's moons are, have, you know, methane, ice. Methane, ice? Methane, They're rain. Fart ice? Yeah. Fart ice. Fart ice. ice. Fart water, fart lakes. I'm pretty sure, like, sparkling water is fart water. 
Oh yeah, it tastes, tastes like, like farts. Yeah. Yes, finally someone will fucking agree with me. Definitely tastes like farts. It doesn't smell or taste good. No, it's sort of oh, it's just air in the water. Like what air? Yeah. Where are you getting this? Out? I'm not breathing air that tastes like that. Why oh, do you make God. water taste so bad? I don't. I have no idea why. If it, it was so just bad. bubbly water, I can get on board with it. But it's not <laughs> bubbly water. It tastes like fucking farts and it's bullshit. <laughs> the amount of times I've been tricked in the morning, like fucking over, just oh, it's bubbly water. Just, why do you have like, fart water in your house? Lou drinks fart water. She likes it. Lou. Yeah, I know. She's like, oh, it's Well, delicious. you're married now. You've got to deal with this for the rest of your life. Bullshit. But yeah, it's the worst thing. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, whilst watching it, it got to about round six, and I was like, shit. I feel like Connor's won all these six rounds. If this goes the distance, he might win by points. Oh, I mean, that's... I mean... I could imagine being excited at that point, just thinking, yeah. oh shit, either way. I mean, they, they did kept was, that, they, the, the scorecards kept coming up on the bottom. I wasn't so looking. It was quite a. Yeah, I mean, it was. If it went to the decision, it would have never got the decision. No, no, of course he wouldn't have, because it was a boxing match. Yeah. Oh shit, do you remember the referee speech at the front at the yeah. start of the fight? How I was sitting so fucking irritated with that ref. He was like, this is my moment. Now listen here, Connor. Don't <laughs> grab him. Don't touch him. Really? Don't go anywhere near him. If you grab him, this ain't not going to grapple with you. I ain't breaking you up. We ain't doing none of that wrestling shit. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's the wrestling bell. Yeah, like, I ain't going to grab you in no guillotine. I ain't taking you to the ground shooting no arm bar. This is a boxing <laughs> match. Keep it above the belt. None of the grappling or grabbing or running around. So yeah, we fucking get it, but this ain't no UFC match. This ain't MMA. And it just looked Connor dead in the fucking eyes the entire time. It's like, you in my ring now motherfucker you will play by my fucking rules and it was just <laughs> like, Jesus shit uh, and he was have you seen the overtime sliding a finger into Floyd's bum while he was saying <laughs> oh, all of this oh, right. it was fucking weird and very intense I didn't mind it that much bullshit the wrestling thing it. when he said something about wrestling I was yeah. like oh, alright so okay. we ain't doing that, no wrestling I'm, here. I'm pretty sure you could just Start the fight, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The fight's already delayed. We don't need a half hour ref pre out. Yeah, we get uh, I watched it the next day, it wasn't delayed for me. Oh, really? I was watching it live, it was late. Yeah, late sorry, I, I, I wanted to watch it live. I can't remember why I didn't know. It wasn't was like ill. I think I was ill. You were ill. In. You were ill. Ill. But yeah, it was, the undercard was strange as well. It was, in, it, was, it was difficult to get into. Well, you don't even like boxing, do you? No, I don't. I really, I struggle. I struggle to enjoy it. I feel like, I, yeah, the, literally the only reason I watched this was because of Conor Mayweather. Conor Mayweather. Con- oh, 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 oh. Conor McGregor. Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come on, looking like Wesley Slipes from Demolition, man. Wesley Slipes? Yeah, we're a ginger black guy. How drunk are you, mate? I don't know. These Some fucking rums drink. you keep pouring, you son of a bitch. Yeah, we've drunk nearly half the fucking bottle, you savage. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, so, so oh, sorry, have you seen the overdubbing of the ref? I did, yeah, the the really very trouble. funny. If you I was saying, that, like, the while that? I was, yeah, while I was speaking, um, while I was watching it with Sam, uh, and we were sitting there, I was like, what is this fucking melt talking about? Will you just start the fight? Because he was, he was, it, <laughs> what it time was did the fight start in the end? Uh, UK time? Quarter past five in the morning. Oh. So, thereabouts. Oh. But yeah, it was. Because Vegas fights when it's UFC start about three? Four? Well, the card starts at three, but the main event you're losing looking at about the same time. Doesn't the card start at two for UFC? If you're looking at prelims. I thought prelims started at 12 or 1. Uh, fight past prelims, yeah. Because you've got fight past prelims. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a fight lot of fights. Fight, fight past prelims for an hour, then it's the, um, the prelims, and then the main event usually starts around about three. Uh, and you'll have five fights on the card. Usually. Yeah, sometimes you get to your fight a bit early, don't you? Um, not usually. Usually they pad it out of ads uh, or, or promos. No, no. Well, usually, shit. well, promos. Yeah, not not ads so much, but usually ads. You get ads for other fights. Um, Metro so PCS, lightning fast, Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever so happens. No, now, now, now we're doing it. Now we're those guys. Don't, don't we do a Bud Light right now. <laughs> it's working. What are we drinking? Morgan Spice Gold. It's too sweet for me, but you love this shit, don't you? Yeah, I do like this shit. It's nice. Another one, please. Yep. Your turn to pull. Okay, so um, so how do you think Connor did? How how do you feel? Well, I would about just like to say that I felt like when he came out, he looked either nervous or ill, ill or tired or something. Really? Yeah, I just thought he looked off when he oh, was coming he was out. Focused. I thought he looked very. Yeah, I, it could have been. It could have been either way. <laughs> I felt. Yeah. 
But I felt a little bit nervous for him. Maybe that was it. I mean, well, yeah, I and mean, wandering out into the biggest fight of his life, but I don't, I don't feel like he was nervous. Well, he's not us. If we went out there, we'd be shitting ourselves. Oh, 100%, yeah. And yeah, I'd have, I'd have curled up into a fucking ball and shit. <laughs> You're making a lot of noise over there. Can you handle it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, about how it's, re- it's a really awesome fucking podcast, and we can hear his rustling and swearing wildly at a door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> coming from off camera. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I think he came out and he looked focused. He had the same face on as when he fought Diaz the second time. I didn't. I didn't feel that. But so when when Diaz, I when didn't he, feel that at all. I felt like it really? was more like a, D, a Diaz one face. No, when he came out with Diaz one, he was fucking laughing and joking around. He was looping around, and that's what he was. He wasn't focused. He was like, fucking about for the camera, and that that's what I. Sort yeah, of maybe thought. maybe it's Diaz two. I'm thinking of him. Yeah, he was he was super focused in the second one. And that's why I was as I was watching it coming out. I was speaking of the fucking walkout. Why did fucking Floyd Mayweather come out dressed like a glory hole? What the <laughs> fuck what? was that all about? What do you is say? That, did, you see, did you watch the walkouts? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. You had that fucking balaclava. He had a balaclava. The, yeah. I don't understand how that makes him a glory hole. a giant hole in his mouth. Where the dicks go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame this is off camera. Your face is gold. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? I I didn't know it, the balaclava had a mouth hole on it. I didn't see that. Did giant mouth hole. I didn't. I wasn't paying that much attention. Also, the uh, quality of what I was watching it on was pretty poor. Oh really? Oh, okay. Mine was mine was okay. Well, it was, it was pretty decent. Can't complain about it. What yeah. did you do? What, what was it on Sky Sports? Was it? Yeah. 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 Just watch it through Sky Sports. A very a very reasonable twenty pound pay per view. Like no, it's fantastic. That's a really good paper. Piece of shit out of being an American and having to pay like a hundred dollars. hundred dollars, wasn't it? Clink again. Clink again. Oh, good noise. Yeah, yeah, right. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that's a new name of the podcast. Huh. <laughs> you spell it. I'll name it. Terrible for marketing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, uh, not allowed, not allowed ex- exclamation marks on Facebook or <laughs> any of the other places that I've tried to put it. So YouTube, YouTube is my best friend right yeah, now because... Course. YouTube's given us unlimited uploading and whatever characters we want. Yeah. For some reason, Facebook pages won't allow exclamation marks. Facebook, sort it out. Well, Facebook! Zuckerberg. Sort it out. Zuckerberg! I'm just adding verbal exclamation marks to it. <laughs> oh, all right, thanks. Um, okay, so yeah. Walk- oh, so I guess we're like, click! <laughs> Walkout's super weird. Click. Um, yeah, referee intro was strange. Connor came out looking good. He, he, he came out doing what people expected him to do. But he, he wasn't doing any damage. He was pushing pace, but he yeah. wasn't as well. He, they both, they both he was hitting punches. Floyd's arms a lot. He, he was, was a all, lot of hitting. He was throwing arms. good strikes at her. I thought he, I thought he looked great for ages. Mm. And then he got clocked, what, round seven or something? Yeah, yeah. Or eight, a, eight. The clinch was a weird one. It was a very strange glitch because it felt like which one? Sorry, because there were many. Right. Yeah, yeah, but they all sort of seemed. Well, Floyd just turned his back, didn't he? Yeah, which in boxing you can actually be penalised for timidity. Can you? Yeah, because there's no legal shots that you can throw of your back to the per- that you can I throw. Know, that's why he was turning his back to him. Yeah, exactly. But if you do that, it's similar to running away. But UFC sometimes allows that. Conor McGregor, for instance. <laughs> yeah, but you know the thing with UFC, you've got legal shots you can throw from the back. Or like anything, any of them. <laughs> uh, well, you can't punch the back of the head, but you can kidney shot, liver shot. Um, you can grab around the around the waist, suplex, valley drop, whatever you want to do. There are, suplex there are, is a legitimate move. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, there's plenty of shit that you can do from the back, but as a boxer, there's nothing you can do. So showing your back is a more timid. So you, it's a defensive sort of move. So you turn around, crouch yourself over, cover yourself up, and I think that was because he was aware of what Conor wanted to do. He wanted to break the clinch, and as he broke it. Take one, take one, then move it. Yeah. style. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah, that was that. Didn't I'm gonna hug on to you now. Yeah. Now take one with you. Yeah. It's, I, don't, I don't think Connor had the sorry, opportunity to work the clinch. That was Richard Pryor talking about Ollie. Oh, oh I mean, sorry, man. I'm just quoting Richard Pryor. Sorry, bud. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, that's too far a segue. You continue. What? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the, cl- the clinch game again. I feel like that was um, Floyd was just clever. Yeah, in knowing what Conor probably wanted to do. He knew Conor was the bigger guy and if he lets him hang on to him. Again, the ref was really on point with the clinch. Was super 
super aware of sort of as soon as it happened there was no way Connor was getting any rest in the clinch no he wasn't he wasn't going to be able to hold on and sort of just grab, hold on to him grab breather no chance on that um, so he was, he was constantly I don't think it would have done him much good even if he uh, no, had, he had a lot of rest not about, so ex- not about an extended sort of rest in that but there is a possibility that maybe while you know when he was training he was possibly getting a bit more used to having that opportunity. Yeah, just that, that, just that little life run, just those couple of, <sighs> where you break away, yeah, just to get that little bit, little bit on the go. I, I just don't feel like that does anything for me. But just because it doesn't do anything for me doesn't mean it doesn't do anything. Yeah, well, for him. he's he's an athlete. His blood works bit. differently. His well, his muscles work differently. They all use different things to us, don't they? Yeah, well, plus the uh, like active recovery is definitely something that you practice as a as a combat sports athlete. Yeah. Like you know that just that having, even if you're on if you if you're on bottom jujitsu you're on bottom you go you bottom side control someone's crushing you down I mean, you build a little frame just yeah. so you can sit there and just you're in a shitty spot and it's not going fucking well for you but those couple of deep breaths might mean that you can just push out of that last bit same with boxing so if you well, push up yeah. you might just get those. And so as you come through, but there was no, there was no opportunity for that to happen. Mm. Yeah, and you I, get going. I, I yeah. understand completely. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, old boxing matches in my head, and then yeah. that. I've yeah, never, I've, never, I've never analyzed it. Yeah, so the, the 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 strike on the break of the clinch is a really, it's a solid technique to use. Sure. Because it's because you can you're at the point where you can control where their guard is. Especially if you are the bigger guy, so you can if hands are up or if hands are down here, oh. as you break away, you can push down with one hand and move in. Yeah, uppercuts. Uh, yeah, uppercuts or hooks or obviously any short punches. Yeah. Really, you're not gonna, gonna throw a long jab or something like that from. Unless you throw it through them. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> You've got such long arms like me. Yeah. <laughs> Gangly arms. Super long arms. Super long. Yeah. Oh crap! I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, never mind. Be all right. We'll come to you. Yeah, you continue. So, um, yeah, so do you feel like, um, so the, the lot of, so the boxing side of things seem to be um, that, as far as they're concerned... I just remember what I was going to say. Go on. Just so I don't forget. Okay. What do you reckon the two fighters actually weighed on the day? Because McGregor reckoned he'd be a, at about 170. Which would be about right, I suppose. That's 20 one... pounds. Yeah, but the fuck again. I think was who, one of the fucking commentators was sitting there going, like, Connor's coming in there weighing at least thirty five pounds heavier than Floyd." I was like, "What the fuck do you think he's eating? Lead, you mad cunt!" <laughs> like, what that's, are you that's talking not about? Help you. Yeah, it's like he's about the same. But he's a little bit taller. He's definitely. He's got a broader build. His shoulders are wider. And he's bit, better you know? at rehydrating because he does it. He's been doing it more regularly than Floyd has. Yeah, well, I mean, Floyd used to fight a lower weight class than he fought at that time. I mean. The, 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 I think the weight was just a fucking formality. It was. Just, just, I agree. Was I totally agree. I was yeah. just, I was just wondering what you thought that the, the two weights were gonna. I think there's, there's probably about day. fifteen pounds in it. Yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. I feel like Conor, Conor definitely I think you're probably right. Hundred yeah. percent. About yeah, about ten fifteen pounds is probably about right. Yeah. For rehydration, sort of going into. He it. was how how he was about three pounds heavier than him on the way the way in. Yeah. And I, then I, yeah. About that wasn't it. Yeah. I've, I've, Maybe like five, four, three so to five. Or that, so I, don't, I can't remember the exact amount of four. Yeah. I've got 148 in my head. I think it was 147 and, and 151. Uh, Connor weighed 154, I think. Did he? Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, Connor, yeah, Connor was just under it. but. So I did watch the way so I just got a terrible memory. Plus, we are recording this podcast a lot later than they intended. We were mm. supposed to do it five days ago, but Dan just was working. I know, he? jobs and shit. Got a job. Know, yeah. <sighs> Got to pay for this glamorous lifestyle somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, got to pay for those beard trims. Yeah, exactly. Da, da, da. Good with it was like four up. quid, wasn't it? Actually, it definitely wasn't. The beard trim. Oh, with the haircut. Yeah, with the haircut. I don't do it individually. No, Just no. Like grow my hair out loads, and then well, wasn't it like four pounds extra for the beard trim though? I don't know. I can't remember. I remember it was okay. It was cool. a great beard trim. Good. I'm not. I'm not saying it was I bad. It. I enjoyed it. At least I remember. You do, it's looking scraggly. Yeah, it is scraggly as fuck. Um, <laughs> payday tree. Uh, <Yeah>. So. <laughs> well, I'm buying a gee on my payday. Oh, yes. yeah, buddy. Two weeks and I'm going to buy a gee. Strangle you with your own clothes. That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to get an A3 
same one as you've got, which is scary. Yeah. Just the uh, fact that we're the same size is yeah, scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. When did that happen? When did I get the same size as you? I mean, I'm six. I'm six. Nearly six one, two hundred pounds. What happened? Back hard. <laughs> hundred pounds. Jesus Christ. Oh. In the WWE. No muscles. Me <laughs> with <laughs> Spike Dudley. I don't know who that is. Really little guy. I've but, watched. I mean, they always used to underdo it. I think they, they used to say that he weighs like seventy-five pounds or something. So oh right, yeah, I'm sure did, he did. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I haven't watched WWE since it was WWF. Oh, okay. <laughs> Attitude Era. Always. Ninety-nine was the last one I watched. What about I think it was Raw ninety-nine. Just Raw ninety-nine. I mean, Raw would have been. The, what, the weekly events they have. Oh, there was a big one that I watched in 99. A big raw. <laughs> a big raw. <laughs> a big raw. Someone got hurt. Mankind appeared. You know, the usual stuff. Sad shit, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about wrestling. No. <laughs> I haven't watched it since I was nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't have shit about boxing either. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yeah. But we did watch a boxing match we did, this week. We so. did, yeah. We recently watched the boxing match. <laughs> so, um... We should probably still talk about that. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, so the the not I think the the TKO or the knockout could have maybe been left a little bit longer. Yes, if please. I'm, That's what playing, I wanted. If I'm playing devil's advocate, let him knock him down. That's why I wanted. Take an eight count, grab a deep breath. I don't know how much good it does him in the long run. He oh would, no, no, he, if, he would have lasted the round maybe. But if he had have got knocked down and taken an eight count, yeah. as soon as he got back up, he would have been knocked down again, and it would have been out. Like, yeah. Oh, do you, oh, do you reckon? Do you For not sure. Think, do you not think that, that sort no, of... No, that, that no, no. Not at all. To get, once you get to the point of being knocked down, especially how worn out he was... Well, yeah, even if he took a knee. Mm. If he dropped a knee at that point... Cause okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, well, that's so a different thing. Down, I was well, thinking... Rather than allowing actually got knocked be, down. I was no, like, no, talking I about maybe, flatlined. Yeah, I mean, even in, in that fight... I mean, on the, the last flurry that Floyd threw... Uh, I think it was five or six punches. I think Connor. It was two rounds of punches. Punch. It was two rounds of punches. Yeah, I'm not referring to specifically the end of the fight. The, the, the last thirty seconds or so, probably just under thirty seconds. Uh, I mean, he was getting completely tooled up. He was not defending at all because he was too tired and he'd been slightly sparked. Well, he was. He wasn't defending. He wasn't. He didn't have a guard up, but he was moving his head around. He was just doing it too slowly. Yeah, he was yeah, because his legs weren't working properly yeah, anymore. His legs he was were. just. He was just so battered. He yeah. was just so tired. I mean, you could see it in round nine when he started to take punches. He mm. was just not, not. He just wasn't lively anymore. Yeah. He yeah, wasn't he lost reacting that, he properly. Lost he wasn't counter punching, which yeah. is what he does. Yeah. He was no longer counter punching. Was... And Floyd just waited out the perfect amount of time for him to stop being able. So he knew that he wouldn't be able to counter punch anymore, and they just started laying yeah. into him. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. He... And let's face it. Connor is not a good defensive boxer. <laughs> and no. Floyd Mayweather is the, deba- the best... Connor gets fucking hit. Yeah. Connor always but, gets hit. And he can hit. take some punches. Yeah. But, but you, you have you have the best defensive boxer of all time versus the probably the worst defensive boxer of all time. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, we'll probably won't go that far. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's certainly a shitty defensive... Well, not a shitty defensive... His defence is one of the weak parts of his... His defence and his cardio are the two weakest parts of his game, probably. Probably. Because he gets hit a lot. Even in the Aldo fight, lasted 13 seconds, and that fight, that punch that knocked him out, he took a punch at the same time. It's just his punch was harder. That's because he was about 10 years younger. 12 years younger. Oh, the Aldo? Yeah. He's not that much younger. Uh, he's a fair bit younger. He's a bit younger. Well, that's just what I always feel. It was the same with that double double knockdown for um, the most recent... Oh, Fedor. Fedor and, Melianenko uh, fight. Yeah, Fedor and Matt McShane, wasn't it? Yeah, they punch each other at the same Matt's time. Just got a bit quicker. He's just younger. He got up quicker. Yeah, and just pop up. Yeah, pop up. Shame. <laughs> Fedor, my favorite UFC fighter of all time. Well, MMA fighter of all time. Your favorite. My favorite. Your favorite. That's good. I like that. Yeah, good. I'm glad. I've never that. thought of any Fedor puns, but it must be loud. Oh yeah, he's your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't remember what Fedor's voice sounds like. He's, it's he, about that. He looks like the sort of dude. Like I think he said like seven words in his life. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Putin. Yeah. Smash four. Yeah. <laughs> Food. Fatal yeah. hungry. He's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Fatal smash. Fatal smash. you got to yeah. show your fucking Hulk. I'm not putting a Hulk fight socks. Out. Okay, but yeah, I've got Hulk socks on because I'm Spend nearly up. a 30 Spend year up. old man and I'm wearing fucking cartoons on. Up! <laughs> you don't have wide feet. No, we both have wide feet. 
Playing skateboarding shoes. Yep. Years and years, my feet just splay out. Yeah, yeah. It's every day, literally fill the shoes. I realise I'm moving around quite a lot, which is probably going to make this really hard to edit. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Move around as much as like, ah, this is going crazy. Yeah. Um, okay. So, that's... We've covered it all, really, from I start to like, finish. Yeah, well played, Floyd. You did... Did what he, exactly he did what he had what, to do. Not yeah, but, but not what you always do. Which no, was no, good. it was it was, it was the it best was good Floyd see, fight ever. It was good to see a fun Floyd fight and be interesting to watch. And I'm glad that he ended his career like that. Me too. It's never happened before. Yeah. There's never been a good Floyd fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I'm not watched all fifty of them. No, for uh, fine, but I assume a couple of them might be all right. I suppose. Probably, maybe, but, yeah. but maybe not. It didn't go the way of the Pacquiao fight, which is good. Yeah. Oh, one thing I did want to fucking bring up. Yeah. That is definitely it's, it's more on the pro boxing side and definitely on the anti MMA side. The fucking. God, I hate MMA. Oh my god, the fucking. I love MMA. I'm the fight metrics. Do you, have you seen that shit where people keep posting about the fucking um, the punches landed? When it's like, oh, out of um, Connor basically out punched all of Floyd's. Um, most recent opponents, including Pacquiao and all the other yeah, guys. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yes. Well, that's very but obvious. That is bullshit. Like when people were fucking saying that. that I, was, I, I wasn't including the little ones in the they're pages. Count, they're counting. Yeah, but I wasn't including them. But I yeah. would have still said but he has still outpunched his last few fights. But no, but have you ever seen the actual statistics for it? No, I, I don't. Mean, I'm on social media. It's gone on something. It's saying something like it's 111 like strikes landed. And it's just the way it's been worded and the way it's been spun. Um, and I feel like it's... I said UFC people are saying this. Yeah. It's all sort of like... Yeah, 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 yeah. MMA guys, yeah. Um, they're sort of saying, oh, yeah, can't, can't handle all these punches because they're just like, hmm, yeah, kind of. Like, 90% of them were yeah. not rabbit punches. If you look at the, the punches that Pacquiao landed versus the punches that Conor was landing, there were more punches that Conor landed, admittedly. Yeah, but he what was What Pacquiao doing... was throwing <clears throat> were fucking punches. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, yeah, he was doing it as well, but again, it was for the money. He didn't really care, did he? Because he had a broken shoulder. Good back out. Yeah, well, he just had surgery on his shoulder, really? haven't he? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. Oh. I don't think I'm making that. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he yeah. just had surgery on his shoulder, but, he, are... but instead of pulling out of the fight, he just went, "I'm just gonna do it." Yeah. Uh, yeah even but... if I lose, I get like. 20 million <laughs> yeah. or whatever the money go on, is go back and carry on being the president of the Philippines yeah. the fuck he is. <laughs> I think he's just a politician in his hometown but no. but, but that's Brandon, fine president of the Philippines he's the high yeah. overlord of the Philippines <laughs> there's only like seven people there so he's not uh, too bad oh no, no, no. Asia notoriously has very few people yeah correct <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah yes <laughs> yeah, good point yeah <laughs> I don't know, mountains I think there's I think there's Philippines are beautiful Beautiful countrysides, not yeah. just mountains. Yeah, you got a lot of farmland. Very no, nice. Not been. Not been either. Not no. been anywhere. Not been out of England. Not googled it. Oh, I have, but That's what not I should say. Yeah. Not not looked at. Yeah, Google it. We got the Google Eye everywhere. The we ones. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, my my point was initially that that metric is being thrown around a lot as Connor's prowess at boxing, uh, and I feel I like that I feel like that takes away from the fight because I don't think. It was a good fight. Because the, the same people that are sharing that are the same people that are saying, oh, Floyd's, um, Connor's power is going to be what does it. I was like, what? what? So you're saying that every, like, because at the beginning, in the run ups of the fight, you've got people, me included, um, saying that, oh, if Connor lands that fucking left hand, Connor's, Connor's too, got yeah. so, much, so much more punching power. Yeah, I and then it was like, that. well, if you landed so many more fucking punches, why did Floyd look like he just come out of the shower at the end of the fucking fight? Um, Whereas, you know, Connor definitely looked significantly more roughed up. Mm. Well, to be fair, he did take about as many punches that Floyd did for the first, like... So, in the first, what was it? So, the first eight rounds, McGregor hit Floyd a lot. And then in the last... We well, punched at Floyd a lot. Yeah, and then in the yeah. last two rounds, McGregor got hit by the same all, amount of strikes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but in all, two rounds. And all the punches that Floyd <laughs> threw hit him. Yeah. On the face. <laughs> yeah, they were hitting him in the face. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, and, not uh, like this on the nose. Yeah. We, we, we still love McGregor. We, we, oh, 100%. Yeah. And I still think to go 10 rounds, with as, as much as this is going to be the most echoed sentiment in the UFC, and you're going to see this for every fucking UFC promo, 
they're kind of fucking uh, like for the now to the dawn the, the end of time yeah it's going to be <laughs> to sort the end of like of the yeah, oh, till God. Dana White explodes in a ball oh, of flames yeah till he sells it to Britney Spears and she fucking <laughs> and like oh god this WWE she shakes her head again yeah, gets shit. fat <laughs> and goes in there and fights turns into Dana White fights Roy Nelson <laughs> <laughs> oh mate it's got to happen you, you hit no it's happening I'm setting out Dana White versus Joe Rogan it's happening <laughs> it's the bald old man match <laughs> it's happening today in my group the fuck out of Dana <laughs> White the actual fuck out of him I don't he might not it would be super one sided no no, it's more, one -sided well, no obviously it'd be, it'd be one sided <laughs> what I mean is he does pay his checks so what he'd probably do is he'd just strangle him he probably yeah, wouldn't yeah. beat the fuck out of him. I don't know. We, we, okay, we'll strangle the fuck out of him. No, fine. I, yeah, I just mean he might not hurt him. He might be like, look, guy, look, mate. We, we're not going to go there trying to kick his face with his buddies. <laughs> but he could. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> if, if there was a run. Are they buddies? Are they good friends? Yeah, they are quite good friends. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, what Rogan says. I don't, I'm not asking well, he didn't get fired. Huh? From what? Commentating. Why would he have got fired? Why would he have well, I mean, they, they released, you know, they... um. Got rid of Goldie. Yes. Yeah. Goldie. Yeah. Mike, Michael Goldberg. Mike Goldberg. <laughs> Everything else virtually identical. It's like, don't you know what? I, I really <laughs> did not like him until he was I gone. I miss Mike Goldberg. Me too. <laughs> so, like, I just was, it's all over. <laughs> I know. And here we Who's go. Who's going to say that now? Nobody says it now. It's just Dominic Cruz sitting there telling Ray to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> or Daniel Cormier whinging about John Jones. That's not happened yet. Huh? Has that happened yet? That's what? not happened yet. What's not happened yet? Oh, sorry, you were talking about before the DC Jump Jones fight. Oh, no, okay. Uh, well, as this is a DC hasn't podcast. come back to... Uh, well, okay. Sorry, I was just saying, uh, DC hasn't come back to uh, to commentating since he's lost, has he? No, it's been like two weeks. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Has it? Well, there hasn't been a UFC long. since he lost. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, a fight night coming up, isn't there? Uh, this weekend, Rotterdam, yeah. With Stefan Struve and... Someone else. Voltec. Oh, the is it the Russian guy? No, not the Ukraine? savage Russian guy. Right. Not not the fucking Vol Vol the No Time. His 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 nickname. I can't remember what the fuck his name is. That's really good. About so me. many ridiculous nicknames. Yeah, but yeah, no, he's, he just <laughs> came out of it. But yeah, but uh, I can't remember his name. But he's meant to be fighting. I don't know. Giving a fight for him next. He'll probably be Gustafsson, I think. But Gustafsson. Was. Gustafsson, yeah. That's Gustafsson. Alexander Alexander Gustafsson, is it? Gustafsson. Maybe. Gustafo. Yeah. Maybe I'm just thinking that. Is he Swedish, isn't he? I should probably not say Gustafo. <laughs> Gustafo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I say Gustafo. Gustafo. Yeah, um, anyway, uh, I was going to just, just, yeah, before we go on to that, um, I thought, I was a little bit disappointed that he didn't do more damage in the first few rounds, um, but I thought he was fighting smart and I was sad for the result that did happen. And I was sad that he didn't go that extra little bit just to get knocked down. The, the ref didn't let it go to that because I would have yeah. liked that. And he basically said that as soon as he was done. He said, he should, they, you know. Obviously, you let me knock him near, let him knock me down. Or yeah. I'll give up the Irish attempt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <I> started. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that was a. Uh, I wish it had have gone that far. But shame, again, yeah. but then again, uh, he's been. He. he how, how long has he got out from the fight? It's like six... He's not allowed to fight for like six or eight months. Two months. It? Two months. Oh, two months standard medical suspension for a TKO. Oh, I didn't know that. It's, and I thought... It, it was, was, again, someone was getting blown away out of proportion by every fucking media out there. Every fight that ends with a TKO... TKO. A TKO. Uh, a TKO. It's a Hawaiian TKO. Or a concussion <laughs> or a, some sort of head strike. Every single fighter will get a fucking medical suspension. He hasn't been suspended from fucking fighting because of because of the, the dam and the sheer damage. It is literally just. I, 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 I just thought the doctor said he did have quite a severe concussion. A lot worse. I thought he was a lot worse off than he thought he was. It's, uh, concussions are real difficult to measure. Like you could get punched in the face, get punched in the face. It's no, it's not good for your brain. So. It's, well, it's, it depends. The fact is, they'll, they'll have a medical. You you always have a medical suspension. I don't know why I just said it. Fight. It depends. It doesn't really depend. It doesn't really depend. Well, what get punched in the face is never good. No, very but, well, I guess unless it's a boop. Yes, then you're okay. Perfect. You I just, love that replay when it just went. Yeah, it's beautiful. You, you gotta watch that. Oh, you yeah. gotta watch the fight. You gotta watch the fight. Oh yeah. Um, Spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> right, we don't have much time, so let's get a quick drink. Yeah. All right. Um,